If you do things for yourself, it's likely that you use portable power tools like this and the batteries to run them like this. This battery pack was originally a NICAD, nickel cadmium battery pack, and it cost about $50 uh, new. Assembled battery packs are pretty expensive for small vehicles as well. Like for instance, motorcycle batteries or uh, batteries for four-wheelers. They can cost anywhere between $30 and maybe $70. Lithium-ion batteries are a whole lot better. They have a much higher power density. They're, they have a higher voltage. They are also able to charge and discharge many more times. I've read things that say you can charge and discharge up to a thousand times for a lithium ion battery. And they're much lower in weight. I did some weighing of the battery packs and a NICAD battery pack for that drill uh, is 18 volts. It has 15 cells in there uh, at, at about one and a half amp hours uh, total capacity. The weight for that is 2.1 pounds. For the lithium ion battery with uh, 3.7 volts per cell, five cells are used and I put three amp hour batteries in there for a total weight of 0.93 pounds, just under a pound. Uh, so it's less than half the weight with twice the capacity. That's the reason why I wanted to continue building up lithium ion battery packs. I did a lot of research on, on how to build lithium ion battery packs and the risks that are involved. The biggest problem with lithium ion batteries because of their higher power density is overcharging, over discharging, or shorting the battery. If you short a lithium ion battery and it gets really hot, it might even short out internally. And what that would do is uh, could, could cause a meltdown, uh, which would be very hot, and it could ignite surrounding material and cause a fire. But the advantages are so good. Uh, and like any other thing that has uh, risks involved, uh, for example, you wouldn't light a match around a uh, gasoline or stick a bare wire in a power socket and expect nothing bad to happen. Because of the advantages though I wanted to build battery packs out of lithium ion batteries and uh, uh, one of the things that I read about was that they recommend uh, spot welding instead of soldering to limit the amount of heat that you put into the cell. So I needed, for spot welding, a high amperage, low voltage source. And I chose this uh, uh, marine battery, 12 volt marine battery. And what I did was I uh, built uh, two probes just like this. This end goes on the battery and this end goes on the cell. So this, this is on the battery. And this guy goes on the cell. The other end goes here. And when you touch them, it welds the nickel strip to the battery. Uh, but it was, uh, sometimes I, they got stuck and I uh, was unable to uh, take the uh, probe off. Uh, and it would burn a hole right through the battery. Like that. And that's not good because it shortens the life of the battery. So to improve on that, I took an automotive uh, starter solenoid and wired that into the circuit. Uh, but when I did that, uh, it was still a little too crude. However, it allowed me to put together a couple of uh, applications for uh, lithium-ion batteries. And I built this... Uh, motorcycle battery uh, for for my uh, uh, motorcycle and it's a uh, 7P 
four S, that seven parallel four uh, series uh, lithium ion battery. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in parallel. And then four of those banks, one, two, three, four, you know, behind paper. Uh, and this guy here is uh, able to start my motorcycle, and it's already been in service for a year, uh, which I'm very pleased about. In addition to the motorcycle battery, I put together a, uh, or I changed all the lights in my house, all the uh, flashlights in my house to uh, lithium ion batteries with LEDs. And there's an LED uh, in there. It used to be an incandescent light. And this uh, lantern battery was run by four uh, D-sized batteries. They were, they used to be in there. They would last about one, maybe two hours. Uh, and this lithium ion battery pack uh, has a 3P, one underneath, the, underneath this, one, two, three, and then it's four series, one, two, three, four, uh, for a total voltage of about 16 volts, which is uh, more than, than this uh, uh, LED would normally take. But I checked it out, and they, the, uh, th that LED will, will uh, handle 16 volts. And because uh, I use one and a half amp hour batteries, uh, for for three, that would give me four amp hours instead of one to two hours maybe for the uh, incandescent light. This this uh, light and battery pack will last somewhere around nine hours because this uh, LED uh, takes only about 0.3 to maybe 0.5 amps. So right now I'm uh, in the process of changing over another another flashlight to uh, uh, lithium ion but I, I'm, I'm just gonna talk real quickly about about this guy this is a uh, underwater light for scuba uh, and I wanted to uh, do the same thing with it use a 12 volt light instead of a 6 volt uh, uh, let's see it was a uh, halogen light uh, and it, it took maybe three amps to run, uh, so I would I'm, I might get a half an hour out of that. This this is a battery pack, and it, it fits in, in just like just like this. It's important that you uh, configure your battery pack to fit in where the light that you want to uh, uh, put it in, uh, uh, and so this one fits in very nicely as you see uh, and I put this guy together with uh, uh, hot glue it makes for a pretty decent uh, and stable battery pack as you can see uh, now I've completed uh, spot wells on all these already so this guy is all it needs to do is have the uh, BMS wired up to it uh, just like the just like this lantern battery had and I'll have another flashlight there. And the, the nice thing about that uh, underwater light is these batteries are uh, 3.2 amp hours. So I don't need to have three in parallel. I can only I only have two, and I'll get six amp out 6.4 amp hours out of this with that LED. It'll give me about a 10 to 12 hour light uh, duration. So the next project that I that I have going is uh, this this flashlight here. And this flashlight used two one and a half volt uh, dry cell batteries. This light was originally a uh, LED light, so it it lasts pretty pretty well, but uh, these LEDs will also take, instead of the yeah, 3 volts from these two batteries, I'll use 4 volts. When this is fully charged, it's about 4.2 volts. This is a, the 18650 lithium-ion battery. 
uh, it'll and, and it's a uh, 1.3 so this this will outlast this guy and be brighter because you can see that the length of these two together is is longer than the lithium ion battery I had to devise a way to uh, modify this flashlight to accept the lithium ion battery so I took this part of it out of the flashlight and shortened the length of this so that the lithium ion battery would be at the right height to contact the uh, the head of this battery or the flashlight uh, but I'm going to show you how this spot welding works so this is a this is a, a switch that I bought from uh, Amazon uh, it's very uh, accurate uh, to deliver the the voltage and the uh, current necessary to make a good spot weld. And I have it set at 35 to do the spot weld. I don't know if you can see the number, but this button makes it go down and this button makes the setting go up. And as you can see how it's connected to the battery and then the output is, is uh, are these two probes. 35 I've, I've seen uh, works pretty well for making a spot weld on these thin metal strips. So I have to put a a spot weld right here uh, to make sure that this metal strip uh, doesn't uh, come apart. So it's ready to go. I'm just going to attach the, this spot welder to uh, these probes to the metal strip and you'll hear it go off. And this guy here is solid. I'll be able to assemble this flashlight and show you how it works. Uh, and to make sure that the, the battery stayed in place, I cut this uh, this spacer. So I, I put the spacer in the bottom of the flashlight. I assemble the the insides in there. I can drop in my my lithium ion battery. Screw on the the light. And I've got a flashlight now that will last, uh, let's see, about three hours. All these lights uh, light up pretty good. If I showed you this one before or not. If I get enough hits and requests, I'll make the next video to talk about uh, voltage, amperage, amp hours, and data and calculations that you need to do and have for your project. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was informative. All the best to you and yours.